Alright, so if you haven't heard, OpenAI just dropped a massive update, GPT-40. And let me tell you, the internet wasted no time turning it into pure gold. This update is truly next level and trust me, not overhyped here. But before we dive into the details, let's check out today's best creations. Skin freezing, holy touch radiating for anti children. This message we're communicating, modern David in a harp carrying. Warrior suit put on, holstered Bible at my waist, outlaw but no Jesse James. Sharper than a seraphim's blade. Inner workings, crash course with my Lord. The holy mass and electric dream. Testimonies that levitate. Step up to Christ's kingdom. G6 with a Bible in it. His chariot is dancing. Help the suffering. Now, let's actually see what's new. GPT-40 can now process text, images, and even audio all at once. That means you can upload a picture, modify it, and do basically whatever you want with it. You can now render text inside images, like here. They give us a couple examples here, but I have seen hundreds, if not thousands of signs with extremely accurate text. Pale for it, perfect image of our Lord, angelic word. You can also refine images through natural conversation. If you are designing a video game character, for example in this case this cat, and we can add and modify and experiment, the cat will remain coherent as you refine your character. In terms of character consistency, it doesn't get better than this. Remember when we had to go to Mid Journey and then go to another website to remove backgrounds? Now we can do it all here. Just type a transparent background and you will get it. GPT-40 can now manage up to 20 objects. This means better control and precision. It can also follow more detailed instructions. For example, this image Times Squares in New York City in the afternoon with no people, vehicles or illuminated billboards. And he follows the instructions really accurate. Same here with the Sibuya crossing. You can see here more instructions. An invisible elephant. I mean, this is hard to believe but uh yeah gpt 4 can process and understand images uploaded by users and use that information to generate new images like in this case we uploaded these six sketches and uh, we gave him the details he created this one and then he created this realistic version of it we have another case here which is this chainsaw and we can actually add a lot of details to it and it will remain consistent same as here i mean guys there has been nothing like this in history so what a time to be alive we uploaded this picture here and we have a real image i mean this is the closest we can get also in the building look at this architects uh, this will be your thing right now moving on this is one of the main details that i was like shocked you know GPT-40 can combine its understanding of the world with image generation, so making it more accurate and context aware. Since it natively generates images rather than relying on a separate system, it can better connect visual elements with real world facts. This means you can actually ask to create an image of an historic animal, a famous landmark, a specific type of animal, and it will generate something that aligns more closely with reality. Than ever before this is what i was talking about he can now understand and create in a single image many different type of animals and of course now it's more photorealistic than ever before i don't want to make this video too long so what else can you actually do with this update well you can change clothing add or remove objects adjust lighting create images using different source objects modify room styles and even posters i mean you name it and in case you're wondering how can i access it 
Well, OpenAI paid users can use it now, and soon it will be available for free users as well. AI is evolving faster than ever, and it's hard to believe. But at the end of the day, we as humans will always be irreplaceable. That's exactly why I decided to use my own voice for this video, because no AI-generated voice can truly match the real thing. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.